I just saw a truck make a quick turn into here. This could be our boy coming right there. It's day three of our undercover investigation here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Population 50,000. Our first guest arrives at noon, right on time. 27-year-old Jeremy Todd West pulls in the driveway, and our decoy invites him in. Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> Calling himself Bandit 8077, he starts chatting online with a decoy posing as a 13-year-old girl. After only about 20 minutes, he says he'd like to meet. Two days later, he asks her this. Are you wanting sex when we meet? Um, I don't know. I don't even know you. If we do, would you want to do it there or go somewhere and do it? The chat goes on for almost a month. It looks like a blossoming romance. Two weeks into their chat, he tells her, I would most likely want you to be my future wife. She tells him she wants to finish high school first. A jarring reminder that this is a chat between a 27-year-old man and a girl who says she's in eighth grade. Two days before he's supposed to meet the girl, he starts to get worried. But one thing that keeps running through my mind is if I get caught, I've seen this Dateline thing where they are busting guys with cops trying to have sex with young kids. Oh, you think that's me? No, but it just scares me, though. Apparently, it doesn't scare him enough. Bandit 8077, a public works employee from Tennessee, makes himself at home. Man, these chairs are nice. <laughs> so how's it going? So far, so good. That's good. Oh. Stay seated. Oh, well, I'll go give you a hug. Well, let's talk first. Why don't you sit down before you give any hugs here, and we're going to have a little chat. Oh. What's going on? Not much. Just dog come hang out, be friends. So there's no friends who are your age on the Internet? Yeah. Yeah? So why can't you talk to them? No, I, I, I know what you're doing. Don't go there, please. I know what you're doing. You talk about taking her out to buy sexy bras and panties and thongs. Okay. I had a feeling this was it. You had a feeling what was it? This was a setup. We would be kissing in my hands okay. and caress your sexy body. I, I made a mistake. I made a royal mistake. I wouldn't go to sleep with her. I promise I wouldn't. I talked about it, but I wouldn't go to it. Remember, he's been talking online about having sex with a 13-year-old for almost a month. I was wrong. Then why did you do it, Tom? Explain it. I was just weak moment. I have feelings I was wrong. Do you ever watch Dateline? I've watched it once. Did you ever think you'd actually be on to catch a predator? Well, Todd, there's something I gotta tell you. I'm on it. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Dude, don't. You can walk right out the door you came in. Leave, leave me. Leave him. And just like he's seen on TV, law enforcement is outside waiting to arrest him. Come on down. Come on down. Straight down. Hands up. Get on your face. Get on your face right now. Hands out. From behind your back. Do not move. Help. Please. He's taken to the local police station, and when questioned by an agent from the Kentucky Bureau of Investigation, he sticks to his story. Now, wasn't going to do anything more than just be friends. That was it. He tells the officer he's worried about being on Dateline. You're probably going to appear on their show at some time. And, and part of the reason is they use that as a deterrent for other people to not get themselves in this situation. Well, I should have just stayed away. He's coming back, Casey. He's trying to make sure, sure he can see you. In a few minutes, our next potential predator will probably be thinking he, too, should have stayed away. Okay, his name is Lorne, L-O-R, and he, you're Kayla. He should have condoms, pizza, bracelet, and a can. I'm glad you could come. Girl. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Turns out today is his birthday. He's 37-year-old Lauren Armstrong, a construction worker. He's been chatting with a girl posing as a 13-year-old for more than a month. It's one of the longest chat logs we've ever seen. 407 pages. Using the screen name Lorne A20014, he tells her how to masturbate and then asks her if she wants to see him naked. She agrees, and he turns on his webcam. He wants her to look at his penis. Would you like to see it up close so you can get a better look at it? Huh? Oh, my gosh. I guess if you want to show me. 
After chatting with the decoy, posing as a 13-year-old for just six days, he expresses his deep love for her. I wish I could marry you right now, because I would do it. That's how special you are to me, and that's how much I love you. But he clearly knows what he's doing is wrong, telling her to delete all evidence of their chat log. Okay, delete your archives, and remember, Mrs. Kayla Marie Armstrong, I love you more than anything. He was so excited to be here, and he came walking in very proud, very excited. It's a massage oh chair. God, it vibrates when you press the buttons. Look, oh my God. <laughs> I thought you had blonde hair. Do you like it? I dyed it I think, myself. I think it's pretty. Thank you. It's very pretty. Well, weren't you going to bring me something? Well, yes, I was, and I did. Did you bring condoms? Yes, I did. Where are they? Out in the truck. Well, what good are they going to do in the truck if we're in here? Well, yell at me, why don't you? <laughs> I haven't had a kiss yet. Oh, okay. Well, then what did you want to do? Well, I want to kiss first. And then what? Can I have a kiss first? Well, let's talk first. <laughs> okay. <down> here. <laughs> are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit? Not as bad as you thought you would be. <laughs> I like seeing you in person. Yeah, I like seeing you too. Good. Seem pretty comfortable there. Hi, sir. How are you? All right, how are you doing? What's happening? Not too much. Not too much. So what are you up to tonight? Not a whole lot. Well, I'll tell you, for the last several days, you've been up to a lot. You're a pretty prolific chatter there. You want to explain yourself? Not really. I never really was going to do anything. You weren't really going to do anything? No. So you brought condoms. What else did you bring? I brought her a bracelet. And she is how old? She's supposed to be 13. And how old are you? 37. Now, besides all this chat here, and we'll go through that in a minute, you also sent a whole bunch of pictures. No, why would you think that's oh. appropriate? It's not. It's not. You tell her to delete her archives. I don't want her to get in trouble by her parents. You talk about getting married to her. Getting married? She's 13. I meant when she was 18. Well, you were going to marry her when she turned 18. What do you think ought to happen here? I think I should go to counseling to get off the internet. I got to do something that I can't do that. Oh, my God. Well, there's something I got to tell you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on this. Now, you're free to walk out of this house right now. But if there's anything else you want to say, now would be the time to say it. He has nothing further to say and tries to make a quick exit apparently not knowing what's in store for him outside. Sheriff's office, down! Get down! On the ground, on the ground! <laughs> hands on your back, Put your hands on your back! He's taken to the local police station where his car is searched. On well, Mr. Armstrong's truck, we found some condoms, a variety pack, plus some jewelry. And later, he's interviewed by law enforcement. I believe you transmitted quite a few photographs. I'd like it for All right. You're coming. Up next, don't let his disability fool you. He has cerebral palsy. This is a man with a deviant plan. Did you bring the razors? Yeah. I thought you were going to be shaved. 